First thing, the future of news is not about human journalism. So the news brands are really important IB members and we wanted to give them a really big platform to engage. AI can learn and be programmed to do anything a human can do but better. Because it's the first time we've all clubbed together to actually achieve a common goal. And I don't dispute a word of it. Now let me tell you why. Fake news is really disrupting the ad industry. And someone came up with this amazing idea of having a sort of fake news editor on stage. Someone that really does exist and we should bring him to life. The first thing we did was um, select a really contentious topic, which was the Trump election. We knew that we wanted someone from America. We knew we wanted someone a bit old school, someone who's believable as an old editor of a print publication. I love this part. Let me read it to you. Uh, Foz shot to infamy during the 2016 US presidential election after claiming that the Sentinel played a fundamental role in helping Donald Trump win the critical swing state of Ohio. We went through all sorts of different names and then eventually came up with the anagram of fake news and that's how Ken Falls was born. Born and bred in Ohio, a proud Buckeye. We wrote a script, we wrote his background, his family history. We used Ken to front the idea that robots and AI could be used to create journalism. When you combine this kind of influence with phenomenal scale, well, it's a combination that advertisers just love. We wanted people to be outwardly quite outraged with what he was suggesting. The deliberate point was to show you something so extreme to see if something that you would believe now. And not one journalist has written a single word. What is possible? But let's leave the ethics behind. Now, I want to get more into that vision now. Good. Oh, I see we've got a question already. Uh, okay. Um... Working for the Sunday Times and having seen David Walsh speak um, before, I just felt he was the best person to represent this message. Let's talk about the integrity of journalists. Do you want me to, want me to take it now or leave it? Sure, I'll take the question now. Uh, can somebody get a mic to this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say that I've been checking you, Ken. There was just an intake of breath. People realised there was something going on. The Cincinnati Sentinel doesn't exist. <laughs> the newspaper in, in Cincinnati is the Cincinnati Inquirer. Part of the reasons we pulled this off was, was certainly because of Dave and how up for this he was. Who, who are you, Ken? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you, what, are you going to no-platform me? What? You, you're fake. The penny dropped from the majority of people in the room there that this was a ruse. Look how easy it is for you to be fooled on a big stage. We had to get a lot of things right. The microphone, the camera, the house lights. None of them got to rehearse their speeches in their entirety. What's really incredible about David is we didn't even bill him at the event. This is a guy that has a Hollywood film made about him. One man against a, a whole institution. What he represents is 13 years in the quest for truth. I mean, he's relentless. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ken is an actor, and he's done a terrific job. When David said I'm here to represent journalism and people applauded, I knew then that, that we were getting the message across. I am a journalist. <laughs> but everyone is finally on board with what's happening here, and he introduces himself and says, I'm David Walsh. I'm Chief Sports Writer at the Sunday Times, and I'm here to represent journalism. And in fact, I just got goosebumps then. The entire room just threw up in applause. Um, most of what David brought to the stage in his presentation was unscripted. It's really personal, it's really emotional. The stuff about his son, stories about the New York Times, about the Maltese journalist. He spent 13 years bringing down Lance Armstrong. The hunt is always more enjoyable than the kill. He's someone that comes with a rich history of investigative journalism. Just incredible humility. He just believed so much in the message. This was about all of the news brands coming together to create one message and with support of the IAB. So we created a news brand video where we brought the talent from across all of Fleet Street together. When you sit in front of these journalists, whether it's David Walsh, whether it's Chris Hughes from The Mirror, or Luke Harding at The Guardian, you get this incredible sense of what their world is and how hard they work to unearth these truths. We got the message across, quality journalism is important. Uh, what I hope from the future is the way that people look at news and journalism is it's an art form. We need journalists more than we've ever ne needed them before. I think everyone appreciated the fact that something had been given to them on the day that, that really stirred their emotions. 
how important journalism is. So thank you very much. Thank you.